This is the first leg of the MLS Cup Western Conference Final. You're always hearing about Cascadia, about Portland, but to see it in person, it's unbelievable. It's getting a bit chippy out there early. You can tell this is the Conference Final. Listen to the noise before the corner kick! Nil, nil, everything to play for in Kansas City. This is mine. I told you I'm not a footballer. I'm here, I feel good. I don't need to be real, I'm just gonna be real. <sighs> okay, just got back from the game. It was an intense nil nil draw, an awesome game. I've got a message from Heath on my phone. Let's see what he has to say. Yo, Pat, welcome to Portland. I hope you enjoyed that match. Now, I miss you. you can earn points by completing the challenges in that envelope that I gave you right there, as well as traveling with the Timbers Army to Kansas City for the second leg of the conference final. So, good luck. And if you can find a way to keep Portland weird, I'll see you at MLS Cup. Get a tattoo of Gio Savarese's face. That sounds a bit wild, but I'm, uh, I love that man. Taking a way day trip with the Timbers Army. I guess I'm going to Kansas City. Learn how to ride a unicycle. Uh, um, grow your best beard. I don't grow a very good beard, so that's objective. So I'm just gonna do my best and I'll get those points. Easy, boom. This list, Heath, no problem. I'm gonna win this thing. So we're here at the Portland Timbers training grounds. It's my challenge now to get a penalty kick lesson from Nat Borchers and Jack Dewsbury to Timbers legends, MLS Cup champions. I don't know what I'm doing, so this could get pretty ugly. What's the difference of taking like a penalty in mid-season in July and having to take one in playoffs? There's so much pressure uh, in terms of getting a result. It's completely different, I think. I'm a very below average player, so if you guys could teach me how to take a proper penalty, that'd be excellent. You're going here, aren't you? I could be. No. <laughs> Is your hand okay? Because that was a power shot. Yeah, it wasn't actually that hard. Okay. Ow, my hands hurt. That's why I'm a great keeper. So what are you guys thinking about Thursday? Two good teams battling each other. Could come down to exactly this and, and penalties. Should see a lot more, more chances and should be a fun game. So you guys think I should get the points for my challenge? Please? Yes. Oh. So we're about to meet with Giovanni Savarese, the head coach of the Portland Timbers. It's amazing to see how well he's doing here in Portland. Love this guy. So uh, tell me about the intensity of the MLS Cup playoffs. How have you been handling that and what's it like? I think the mentality is the most important part. I think the mentality of the team, the players, is strong. But now we have a tough game in Kansas City. Heath Pierce has given me a list of challenges I need to do. <laughs> of course he had to, Yeah. Right? One of the challenges he gave me, knowing I'm a big fan of yours, he said I need to get drawing, tattoo, of you. Oh, me? On my back. Oh, really? Yeah. So wow. Maybe, I would advise maybe. you not to do a real one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it would be a pleasure on my part. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. But it's good to have you here. Yeah, Hopefully you. we'll see you in, uh, in the final, whatever yeah. it's going to be. Yeah. But how sick is that guy? I just want to spend some time with him. And it's not weird. Like, I'm just, yeah, I, I look up to him. He's my hero. It's not weird. Great guy. We're going to the smallest park in the world. 452 square inches. There it is. Vuj in Kansas City met a local celebrity at his favorite fountain. I too am going to meet a Portland celebrity at their favorite fountain. The Unipiper, he's a unicyclist, is going to come here and try to teach me how to get on that thing. Oh, fuck. Oh, there's fire. Fire coming out of the pipes. I, I need like a lot of background. This is one way of expressing our city's unofficial motto, keep Portland weird. And what better way to do that than with bagpipes, unicycles, and a little bit of timber flare. What are my chances of getting up? Be realistic. In the next 15 minutes, I would say about nil. You want to start with your dominant foot. I'm already failing. And then in one swift motion, just step up with your left foot. All, All right, right, ready? I'm here, yeah. Oh. 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 Is this like a beginner's unicycle? Um, there, there, there's like a, a premium. pretty much one kind of unicycle. One swift motion. And I'm up. And I'm not up. One last try. If I can get like one revolution, just like hold me up. Uh, yep. I'm going. <laughs> if I don't get the points, I still learned a lot. Well, better luck next time. Thank you so much. Go Timbers. <laughs> All right, so I botched it. So one of my challenges is to eat at six Portland street carts. Three carts down, we're gonna win this challenge. Put it in my mouth. Hello, guys. 
Hey. Uh, and you guys are Timbers Army members? Absolutely. Awesome. All right, so naturally, first of all, I want you guys to tell me about the food cart culture. And we've got so many awesome places to go to. It's like Cartopia. You can go around the world while you go around the block. So what can I expect in Kansas City from the traveling Timbers Army? Yeah, people will be welcoming and you'll be able to go and just start talking to them. You know, again, that kind of ties back into this vibe in the city. You know, it's a friendly place. I'm going to try a wing. Yeah. Oh, they're fantastic. I need to, they're right? Really These things look yeah, really yeah. good. They're yeah, good. They do. It's very clear that the love for the Timbers is unconditional, but how much would it mean to you guys to win the cup again? It would mean we have one more cup than Seattle does. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, I don't mean to be petty, but I am. It's true. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I'm, like, pretty full. <laughs> so, considering tattoos are a big part of Portland culture, I need to take part in that, especially to get some more points. We're going to go to a Timbers Army tattoo artist. We're going to have him give me a tattoo of Gio Sabarese. And I'm a little scared, but it's going to be fake, so it's all good. Igor, how's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you. you ready to put the manager on my back? Yep. <laughs> well, there you go. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, I'm starting to think I should get it for real. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. I didn't even know there was hair on my back. If anyone walks in, tell them I'm a Timbers player. <laughs> Love my manager so much. All right. We're done. Awesome. How does it look? Looks great. Yeah, I like that. Gio looking strong. And hopefully if they win, I can show it to him and he won't think I'm a freak. But thank you so much. This is the, one of the weirdest things I've ever done, but yeah. I think that's the Portland theme. So Portland has been awesome. One of the coolest cities I've been, but now it's time to head to Kansas City. No one travels like the Timbers Army. Best wishes to yeah. the Timbers. Have an awesome flight to Kansas City today. So we've made it to Kansas City. It is playoff match day, but before we go meet up with the Timbers Army, we want to get a feel for this place. Smell the competition. This looks good, but it should be a little more green and white, I think. Anyone can do art on a wall. It takes someone special to do art on a boy. F -B -T. Timbers Army entering the stadium now. Here we go, it's late two. Game is nil-nil, so much to play for. I feel that. Second half starting off now. It's so impressive to see 200 fans from all over the country supporting the Timbers on the road. Blanco fancies it! Oh, what a stunning score! Oh, over the top. It's headed in by Valeri! Oh. 2-1 now to the Timbers. An incredible comeback. Gio! He's going to see the tattoo on my back! Just on! 2-2! Two, 2-2 two. Two, two now! These last five minutes are going to feel like an eternity! It's through! Ball up! Score! Portland are going down with a nice goal! It's smeared, now let me show you. So the Portland Timbers came to Kansas City, got a 3-2 win, and are now going to MLS Cup. I may have not gotten on that unicycle, I may not have gotten recognized, but I got a hug from Gio Savarese and I got an incredible away day experience. I think I deserve to go to MLS Cup, I think I definitely got the most points, and if you're not going to send me for winning this thing, I'm probably just going to go myself. <laughs> <laughs>